Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 165. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 155 to 167. Hey, Trick 165, we have a big data set here. Client names, their telephone number, email address, and their birth date. And what we want to do is we want to send periodically send out birthday cards. So we have this birthday date, but we need to extract all the records. And this is a huge data set. If you control down arrow, you can see it's 780 uh, some odd rows. Control home gets me back up. So we need to ha have a, a, some true-false formula that looks through all these dates. And, and we're going to ask the question with the true-false formula, is this birth date? Uh, we need the month and the day from the birth date. And then we need to compare it to today minus 14 days because we want to look, um, extract everyone's birthday today or 14 days before. Now I'm going to blow this screen up here so we can just see part of it. And And what we need to do is we're going to do this in a couple steps. We're actually going to um, take today's date and then subtract 14 days to get the two bookend dates. We'll create a series of dates between all those. We'll create a true-false formula that will tell us whether uh, this person has a birthday today or 14 days prior. Then we'll uh, create a macro and use advanced filter to dump all the dates on this sheet here. Now, I've already done this once um, or a couple times. And the macro will erase the old ones and uh, replace the, w with the new ones. But first, we have to um, look at this. This is the formula for today, equals today, open parentheses, close parentheses. Just put that in there, and every day you open this up, it'll give you today. Now, I'm going to put 14 here, and then I'm going to create <coughs> the uh, date for 14 days before this date. So I'm going to say equals this minus 14. Now, if you don't know about dates and the fact that they're serial numbers, uh, over on this sheet 165, I have a bunch of notes for macros and advanced filter and everything. You should go look at the link for, there's a video on dates and serial numbers. So there it is. We have our two dates there. Now the trick is how are we going to create from an early date and an end date a series of dates? Because our formula needs to look at this date and compare it not just to this day and this date, but all the dates in between. Let's look at the row function and indirect function together, which is a cool date trick to create a series of serial number dates from two bookend dates. Equals row. And I saw this on the uh, Mr. Excel Daily Podcast uh, a while back and have used it in a few of my videos. It's just a great trick. All right, so we have indirect, which takes text and converts it to a cell reference. And then the row will uh, give us all the rows, which is what we want. Uh, we're going to start with the earlier date and shift 7 for ampersand. That's the join symbol, a double quote colon, double quote, ampersand, and click on the begin date. Now, I can't get into begin date, so I'm going to click there and then down arrow. Now, I actually need to lock these cell references going down. Now, let's just see how this works before we create the rest of the formula, because all this little cool trick here is doing is creating the all the dates uh, between these two. Now, if we were to look at this part right here and hit the F9 key, which evaluates it, we can see, oh, yeah, it took uh, this date here, which is 39770, the serial date, and then the uh, today's date, and put a colon. This gives you uh, not cell references, but row references. Now, I'm going to control Z. And then if you look at this right here and hit F9, it's going to be a disaster because there's nothing in those cells down there, so it gives us a bunch of zeros. Control Z. But watch it. And we'll, but let's watch this. When you highlight all of this and hit F9, what does it do? It gives us the bookend dates and all the ones in between. So that's a really important trick for some date analysis. Control Z. I'm going to Control Shift Enter. And I want to show you formula evaluator here because it'll give us a different perspective on what that part of the formula did. Formulas, formula auditing, evaluate formula, 
in 2003. It's Tools Formula Auditing and Evaluate Formula. The keyboard shortcut is Alt T U F, Alt Tough. Now, watch this. What's nice about this is it will show us the cell references or the row references. I'm going to click Evaluate. So it's combining, it has those, it's still combining. Now, watch the indirect here. And this is hard to see on the screen, but you should do it yourself because you can see there it created the actual row references. And then the row function, of course, tells us um, just that single date because it's sitting in a single cell here. But uh, what was nice about the uh, formula evaluator is you got to see the cell references, the row references that it got. Now, let's hit F2 here because we got to do something to this. We got to. Um, ask with a formula, are any of these days uh, equal to any of these days? Oh, but that won't work because it's got a year in it. So watch this. We're going to take text, the text function, to all of those uh, serial numbers. And at the end of the, it takes the values and then the format, you have to know custom number format. And I'm going to, in double quotes, month, day double quote, close parentheses. Now, if you were to evaluate all this, you'll see that now it'll give us, and I'll hit F9, oh, 1118, 1119, and down here it's got 122, control Z. Now we've got to ask um, a big, uh, a bunch of questions. Are any of these equal to uh, this? And so we're going to use the or function. Or, and that's a bunch of um, dates, so we'll come to the end here and say equals, and we'll have to do the same text trick to this cell right here, comma, in quotes, MD. And now we're going to get, um, you can see this one right here, if we F9 it, you can see, oh, uh, 10, 2, so that would be a no. Control Z. Now we have to Control Shift Enter. And I forgot a parenthesis. I'm going to click no here. I never trust this. Click no. Click OK. Oh, yeah. I forgot a parenthesis on the end. Control, Shift, Enter. And then double click and send it down. Now, if you scroll down a bunch, I put conditional formatting. So there's a true. And let's just see how this works here. Let's double click it and um, highlight the end of this text right here and hit F9. We can see that got a 12-1, and we, as we already know from before, this right here will give us at least a 12-1 if I hit F9. Sure enough, there's a 12-1 and a 12-1, so the OR will give us false, 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 and one true. I'll hit F9, and that's what we want, because the OR finds any one true, and then boom, it tells us true for the whole thing. Now, this is very dangerous, what I did. I'm F9ing in the middle of a bunch of times in a row. If I were to hit um, enter right now, it would put true in the cell. I'm going to click escape because I didn't want to. Once you do F9, if you don't immediately do uh, control Z, it'll ruin your formula. All right, so we have our formula here. Now let's see if we can uh, do a map.